something to work against the orcs with. When we talk to the barons, do we let them know this? Probably not yet. Alright. I'm going to offer Imperial aid in the form of those embassy troops coming down. If they do come down, Volk has no one able to be stationed outside the embassy or the clinic at the moment. He is so stretched thin because of the forces he has. So if I'm able to convince a portion of his embassy troops to go to the north to deal with the orc threat to hold it back, then he's able to take other troops and deal with the robber baron or press him into a corner to where he has to be at wherever he has to be for abduction. I have to be careful how I word this, though. The plan of action is has a lot of nodes and in-betweens, but it's rather straightforward, though the road is bumpy. How many days do we have? Ten. Ten days till the Ten ships days. arrive. Ships. Plural. Did I hear that right? It is unconfirmed if it is inquisitors or plural. <clears throat> they have only said inquisitor. This is assuming that our delay didn't work. Oh, one's bad enough. Well, let's hope that it did. I don't see why it wouldn't. Maybe we'll get a raven shortly and find out. I do not know. If it comes down to five days. If there are only five days left and we don't have any progress, we're going to look at a way to get through the castle wall where it is weakest. Those of us with fighting capability are going to enter the keep in the dead of night, and we will make our choice inside with whatever baron is there. They will be installed on the throne, and we'll make it clear who holds the power in this region. Otherwise, we will burn. I can find your way up. It may come to that. Something was brought to my attention that even I didn't think of. Clifford's brewing room. It's right under the fucking castle. Good thinking, Markle. I mean, it could even be an old alcove of the castle. We have no idea. There could be a bricked up wall or something. Who knows? That's smart. Make no mistake. That is a last ditch attempt. If we do that, it can go horribly wrong, and we're all toast anyway. It'll we'll take a long time assumption. to get that stonework taken care of, though, should we begin starting on it. If we start it and it's discovered, that's my other worry. I'd leave it up to Tang. And you as well. Both of you working together will get it done. Give or take a couple days. Can you There's that vine wall next to the uh, alchemist shop that goes straight up to the keep. You are correct. <sighs> start drawing out plans and supports, if necessary, to start going through the brewer's ceiling. If it comes to that, it's going to be blood that determines if we live or die. I would like right. to avoid that at all costs. But if we are down to the wire and we have no other choice, we must install someone in this region who will tell those ships to turn around or at least make sure that they do not carry out their plan of action, which is to purge the infection, so to speak. I have no guarantees that mm. well, an ambassador from my kingdom will not arrive within that time frame. The hope is that he arrives, and we still have hold of the province, and we'll need every help that we can get dealing with the threats here. In regards to that, regardless of which baron sits on the throne, we need elves to remain here that are willing to diplom well, diplomatically meet with the ambassador who is on his way. That is his goal. If they are gone by the time he gets else. here, then we are in trouble. Well, they don't it would know be a boon. They, they would be a boon if Vezrin's uncles get switched out. <clears throat> they would, that'd be perfect. He needs a reason, a, a good reason, that the diplomat 
should be removed. If anyone well, finds any dirt on him, you can send it to me. Here's a question. Dirt on this Inalaman elf. The emissary. Are we sure they have nothing to do with the unmarked elves? Would it be possible if we could find a connection that they're working with House Ilyra? Or he's working with House Ilyra? <coughs> and give that to your uncle. It would be more than enough to remove the man from his post. But I don't know what kind well, of internal removed. strike. If he's assassinated, I don't know if that's good or bad for my uncle's Well, uh, we can't stop it's... that, unfortunately. That's not any of our business. That would probably create a shitstorm. We cannot allow that. Yeah. Right, I'm they'll sorry, send more. But I can't stop that either. Who is planning to kill the emissary? A drow matron. And all of her men. Oh, fuck. I it might it work out if it's... And I can guess it's... that those are the, <clears throat> the same ones that have been murdering high elves. Good choice, sir. Okay, well, veteran, good choice. Um, several wars there in as with the loss. Um, it might work in his favor if Drow were involved um, in this sort of Actually, combative manner, right. or it might be worse. No, you're right. She is either going to. I be mean, what if we just tell them that there's a in our plot side, to assassinate or she Drow. is going to be the best ally that we have? Mm. Mm. I only can say no in between. I can trust. Yes. Where are these drow from? Where else would they be from? The underguard. But my concern is the drow don't have any loyalty to any of us. No, it's I don't know what they're on Exactly. At the crux of the current what issue, the though. Scenario: If we tell this emissary that he's going to be assassinated by a drow. Sharik. You were saying? At the crux of this issue, though, if we allow this assassination to go through, your uncle could push that he would be positioned there instead, right? Would that give him an opening he needs? I agree with him. Mm -hmm. Rather his family. Yeah, rather our, our Someone loyal, right? And over if he's working with Kovaz, mm -hmm. he, is no, he has no love for Drow. Your uncle could wind up as much a threat to some of our friends if he's not talked down. <sighs> we don't want people to get caught in some sort of cross-examination. <clears throat> That's true, if it does go through and he does end up on a warpath. I can ask her not to kill him, and that could be my favor. But it would be a waste. But then we wouldn't be able to get the in my opinion, rubber baron. I can get the robber baron somewhere fairly safe for us to. Uh, we all suited up and <clears throat> took them by surprise. I, I have no have... use for this favor, so if you have ideas that will be able to push us in the right direction, please let me know, for I have to speak to her tonight. Do we know what the drow are here for? Is it the same thing these elves are here for? The elves are here because the drow are here. The drow are searching for something, most likely. Uh, most likely what lies beyond those marble doors. You're correct. Like I said earlier, all of these parties are going for the same thing. Whatever is in there. All of them. This may Minus sound the absolute... who are just here because they're human. <laughs> they can't help themselves. This may sound like absolute insanity, but I'm going to speak it anyway. I guess I have to address the concern of my people in the kingdom of Vernfaldur. The elves want what is here. The drow want what is here. None can get into it. My ambassador from my kingdom is coming here. They will want to get in good with the elves. If we, as the Dawe, manage to find a way in, we get the favor of the elves for our kingdom. Your drow get a way in, the elves get a way in, and then it becomes a race to who gets it first. Uh, I don't follow. More to the... We'll keep them all tied up. 
most of the current issue, I want to bring it back to Sarah has a favor from these drow that we can use to bolster something we are trying to do. The question is, what do we use it for? Do we use it to capture the robber baron, or do we try and save this emissary, or is there another option that we aren't looking at? Help? Could they help us get the ship? We need to figure out what we're going to do with that. <clears throat> That's the thing, I'm not sure what to use such a boon or curse on. I could tell her to postpone it again, but I don't know how that's going to make me look. All this work that I've been putting in to get these It'll people make you to look indecisive. We can't do that. We need to figure out what we're going to do with it. We don't want to make you look bad. That's why I'm suggesting what I <clears throat> suggested. Because at this current point in time, I need the elves here for the ambassador so that we can get some diplomatic relations with the elves for reasons I can't explain. Alright, how does- what does that have anything to do with what I need to talk mm. to the Drow Matron about tonight? Because... If you take information, that if you remove this- if they remove this... Emissary at some point, after you've gotten the Baron... After you've done this favor, if you pass them information that the Dawi are coming here... That they want to treat with the Elves, but the Ambassador is in the way... They can open the door to let them in. That is what I'm trying to get to. You can use who, who, I don't understand. us being here. Who's entreating with the elves? I don't. <coughs> the I don't from the Vern 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 Kingdom is the headed here. Are coming. Apparently but they've taken interest they want to talk in something here. Elves? I can't go they into that. fucking thing. Or no, they're what not. What do you mean you can't go in? This is what it's the state of my like. kingdom. I can't divulge the state of my kingdom. So if you use this favor to get the Baron, get into all of this, if this continues going well, if you bring information from myself and my brother, that the ambassador is on his way here, that if they remove the Enlamin emissary <clears throat> another elf will come that will be more willing to look into that door the dwarves will open that door in order to get in a good with the elves of Ishmithalas to earn a favor for mm. my kingdom this opens the door for the elves mm. and the drow the drow will be able to sneak in That doesn't necessarily so need to be a favor. That could literally just be That's something as. Favor, but, yeah. Um, can I get a it's something that can boost her position with the matron. Correct, but we don't need to burn the favor on that. That can just be information. No, hmm. no, this is after plus the favor. Plus two favor. Okay, we're trying to figure out what we're doing the favor gives first another favor. before we do other things. Yes, that's what, that's what we <laughs> currently need to talk about right now is Step what are we one. doing with this boon? Step one. Tomorrow, you meet with a mem, and you meet with Kovaz. You find out their disposition, what they plan to do with the province, what their ideals are, and get a measure of these men, because we need to find out who we are backing from your conversations. Okay. That's the first thing. The day after that, will be preparation to hit the Capitano Spice Farm. It is somewhere in the mountains. Carlissa, the transporter, is going to make her way here. We're all going to get in her wagon, armored up and ready to fight. Gerbum is going to come with us and be our eyes and ears for the Baron. We go there. We take whoever's responsible, get answers, burn the shit to the ground, get the fuck out before anyone knows it was us. We come back. The next day, that ship should be arriving. I have Tang pull the chain, get the ship's stuck inside of the port. We go there again with Gerbum. We use whatever we manage to get set up plan-wise to flush the ship out and either neutralize or scare off the crew. Take the ship, put it in Odyssey's port. We destroy whatever product that's there or bring it in as evidence, notify the custodian of our actions, and either that very next morning or the same day, whichever baron that we've decided to go from, from this meeting you have tomorrow, we will bring this evidence forward. The words... Of the Baron of Mem's eyes and ears, 
We're bring forward the paperwork and forms that have been found inside of the keep. We bring forward Zemek and his testimony, and anybody else that's willing to come forth on top of the heaps of evidence we have of his collusions with other people here, plus whatever it is that Nolzos has gotten out of Haraja, Otamis, everyone that they're about to pursue. That same day, the Capitana will be executed. We will make sure of that. By that point, we will have that kind of influence. <clears throat> as soon as that is done, we move on to the robber baron, instantly. We send Shariq, as you wanted, with backup, to get a measure of man, sure, meeting. But the point of him going is to find all the ways that are in and out, the biggest windows, easiest doors. We pass that information to Sarah's friends, and they have a way to extract them if that's the way we choose to go. They would extract them, bring it to a position where we are, and we grab the robber baron, bring him to notice where he is summarily executed <clears throat> in front of everyone here, and it is publicly announced by the baron that is reigning that all men that followed him have been granted amnesty if they return to their posts, and all attempts to have them arrested or tried for treason will be dropped as they were manipulated by a man of power and repute. That will allow us to fortify the region against the Vapex, against the Orcs, and whatever else is out there. We'll have a few more hundred men that are now protecting the town. And then we can start looking outside of Nordis at our other problems, like the Elves and the Drow and whatever else it may be. But we need to figure out what we're using your friends for. If not that, what? Well, I'm not sure to utilize such a thing that here's the thing actually we can't do that because um, his keep is full of resources iron um gold all sorts of things um if uh, these drow get in there and take that for themselves then we are creating an even bigger problem for for us in the future The plan that you're suggesting, I still don't trust the drow. using the drow to get the robber baron, is don't. the favor. W one thing, hold up. You shouldn't see that. They, they, oh, you, I'm not saying that. Sure. I'm not saying that because they're drow. I'm saying that because they're not in this room right now. We don't want them to be. We're exactly, using them. Exactly. So, when you went to go talk to the robber baron. At that place, how many guards did he have? At the time, he was fighting with the Imperials in a skirmish, so it was a skeleton guard. But, um, it's a today? small fort. No, today, no, he was out with a patrol, a small garrison. Um, I can't really name off the top of my head his exact numbers. But he keeps, I don't know, maybe a good 30 men with him in that keep. Maybe more. Well, well, yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I don't care about the keep. I want to know where, how many people, if we can get them out, rather than have the crowd go in. Like, we, yes. His entourage. We, if we can get him in a spot and ambush him ourselves. <sighs> probably some of his best he fighters, yeah. I think that's what he's Probably talking. keeps around, I think, um... Today he was around with five to ten men, I think. Heavily armed, plated. You think it's reasonable? Oh. Uh... I, I don't know where anything about could combat. Be, nice. It could be done if he was surprised. I could hire mercenaries. My it, concern it is the, the man castle, has though. survived um, this long no, for a reason. Of course reason. not. There's a lot of things in the castle that they should not get their hands on. But then we draw him out with his entourage or whatever, and then Sarah of its friends take care of it from there, and they help us. Why, why do we need? Why do we need the? Why do we need the drought for this? Because they're better this than whatever you're gonna, you're gonna come up with. That's why, and they're gonna get the job done without any problems. And there isn't a they're thing about assassins. double crossing in my. Mm. Especially Please. if they're doing the dark. They can see in the I dark, have been busting torches. my fucking ass for the last several nights trying to get this stupid bitch to trust and respect me. 
And now she has given me a favor, equivalent to one of your lords giving you a favor. She has several dozen fucking men. Don't be daft. Don't trust them. Do we vote on it? They're not in the room. I'm in Seems to be the most room. contentious part of this entire thing. At least to me. If the dragon oh, involves... Wait. My concern... Is that obviously, you know them well enough to have an ulterior motive. They owe you. But to what end? Will they follow through completely? I can promise you that they are not worried about the barons of this land. But what comes with the drow is going to be far worse than any of your politics, you surfaces. Alright, so... So their focus is the elves. We assume, assume a surmise. Is what's down in that tunnel. Right, and the elves are after it. You made it clear they don't yes. want the elves getting to it. She the wants to assassinate want the, the emissary. To it, yes. Correct. My question is, you have said that you've gotten a particular feeling from that elf. Let us assume that it is like the last man you told me you have those feelings about. Are we certain that woman can even touch him? What happens if she fails? That's a good point. We have one less thing to worry yeah. about, I guess. I, I don't disagree, but, but what then we just the burned our reaction? entire the operation. Yeah, there is something. We should leave the diplomat to my uncle. You don't think she's capable of the taking the robber baron? No, I would do no. that. We're talking about the family. emissary, the yeah, one who has that. given Desrin a feeling like they've gotten similarly from that other man we know of and her. Yes, I would not. I would not go near him. He he would probably sense her really right off the bat. No he probably knows. already has. I've stalked him. That's, that's, the vineyard, okay. and if he's then, so powerful, then, then he knows I'm uncle here. Handle. The then point is, what if the matron handle. fails? Mm -hmm. What will be the draw reaction if they lose a matron here? Will it make things worse? Another going to come and replace her, probably. Being Look. powerful doesn't mean you're omnipotent. If I may. Thorin? If you have a draw try to kill an emissary of the elves, You'll rile all of them up, Sorry. not just a few here, if it reaches back. Please, the people will probably unite to that. True. Mm. He has a point. They are on the fringes. We heard it three years ago. Rounding people up. <clears throat> okay. What if she was convinced to not do it outright? To make it look like someone else did? His, if I may. She's still using what she your wants. favor for that. Um, you can phrase it as a warning. You can tell her that somehow this elf is special. You need to be covert, or you're going to draw more elves here. Um, do her a favor, and then we can use that uh, initial favor for what we planned on with the robber baron. Failing that. That way, she changes her mind. We could use the favor for her to allow us or your uncle to handle the diplomat, get him out of the way, right? That's true. Um, you My could say thought that the process is, is that we're going to want those drow if we go underground. If we're yes. really going to pursue this craziness, this Nithnemalorian or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, God. If it's as bad as the things that we have seen, I'm gonna want people down there who can see in the fucking dark and fight. Here's the thing. They are here for themselves. To give I'm, done. That is I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I don't care about that. If it comes down to us having to fight them, so be it. But they can at least get us to one place. I would be ready to betray them if I tried. I fucking tried. They're going to betray us. We stock up on flash powder, shit that will blind them, whatever the fuck we need. You don't like them? We'll get rid of them for you. We'll have Tang with us. What the fuck are they gonna do to Tang? Like I said, I've been oh, busting okay. my All fucking right. ass. I'm trying to get her to think I'm some young, naive misfit with no fucking ears. And it's working. 
Well, I'll be the first to say it. More we thank you for that. This is yes. It is a very powerful card for us to use. Still, there's a risk that you've taken. The more the, more the reason why I say this is I feel that we can take the robber baron ourselves using veteran. I agree. I would I, I agree. After would rather the, uh, the dwarf has said. I would rather that if she truly will fulfill a favor for you, it's either something to deal with these unmarked elves. Because I feel in the near future something's going to happen. If they just attacked and took that place back. This favor could also be wrong. information as well. So if <clears throat> we have any idea of something to ask her, she may know something we don't. Do they have access to Ashmathalos? That's where they came from. These ones specifically? They just came from the Underdark, fresh. And there will be more. A lot more. Most the entrances are well protected. Where that main entrance comes Do you want to see into my mind for a moment? And what I've been thinking. The crazy things that go on in my head at night. The way that We're she listening. is acting was not a, a drow, in my opinion. <coughs> when I first saw her, she said that the drow are coming back to the surface. But I don't think that's to capitalize on it. I think it's because they're running away from something. The Duragar and the Drow War has ceased completely for reasons I do not know. But I believe it's because they are both being eaten alive from whatever it is that destroyed Ireland. And now they must find a new home. Which they will do. Maybe whatever's the in those doors is some that. kind of thing that the might older help houses, them in the Underdark. The mm. older houses would never allow that. If they came here before the drown any that's connected, oh, whatever's so there, I would assume, would help them with their goal. Which would make sense why the drow are trying to stop them. But th there's a lot of speculation. I'm not sure. I don't know enough. Out of character, did you ever talk about that? So one of those doorways there? Where? Mm -hmm. No. In the place you guys were talking about with the myth of the water, water, water. I don't know what that is. But it's a lost city. Those... That that is what so all of these groups are looking for. <clears throat> where else would you put? Where else would you? What do you, what do you call the thing that? Yeah. And then that you go fucking... through. You go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, try. that one. The Nora, the fucking. So there has to be one there. So it's just a it's it's a foothold. Oh. That's yeah, what they um, want. Said. There's, but why there's here? Yet, this is the ship uh, province. Because it's not. In, 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 be, exactly why. We're on the border with Eshmethalos. It's a shitty province. It's an easy place to take over. Openly and freely with the other elves that we but were that would all put united anyone who's aggressive at war with Grandia. Mm, so and if, if it was the drow, then Eshmethalos would absolutely come to help. It would they be pincer? So, them coming to the surface isn't far-fetched. It has to be. Wait. All of those statues outside of those marble gateways, they are all of uh, Asahari, the elven goddess. Um, and deeper within, older versions of her, um, bare and, and pouring uh, water and uh, completely different from the, the, the current um, way that she is de depicted. Perhaps this is one of those lost elven cities, uh, back when they were still unified. I can guarantee it is. That's how it was described by the Matron, a lost city, myth Memelorian. And the way the Guardian said was oh, I missed that, that the way the way the Guardian said it was hit, destroyed, hidden a long time ago, some great lie, and that they and that the Guardian wanted it to be come to the surface to be reprimanded. You need to press the Guardian about what that lie is. If you can. All right then. Uh, then Last the favor. Are we using we break. it? <clears throat> what is the favor for? She has to give an answer tonight. 
Is it to get the robber baron? Do we try and save the... I've been doing it this whole time. Every single time she's had me do a job, she's offered me her men and I've turned them down. I want better by myself. Just how it what? is. What? Soma! I need What's you over here for a moment. Move. For an indefinite move. 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 Request for her men when you need it. For one thing. What's going on? Check you. At your discretion. Like I think she passed out. Yes. When you need her men, you call upon them. And they must do a job for you. They must obey you. Let her rest here. You keep the matron out of it. You say that you need to borrow her men. You've earned that. They would have to follow your commands. Trust Sarah more than this matron. She needs to settle with a plan and go with it. It's not bad. Does that sound viable? This would fit the pattern I've been creating. It removes the deadline, and it gives you something malleable that you can use for whatever comes up. But Does that, that agree? might start watching me. So that's the only downside, but I can, I'm alright with that. I'm used to being watched. Wouldn't it be a boon to you too, saying that this might be, she might look at it as an opportunity for her to see how you lead people? She's not scouting me out. If they find out know. who I am, it's it's over. I don't want her to get close to me. I want to get close to her. God, don't this we all have that in common? <laughs> well, uh, we won't be this bringing the men to around to the places we stay. You'll meet with her, say, I need your men for this job. We'll go take care of the robber baron. Once we have him in our custody, you tell them they are free to go back about their business. I will ask what? if... I will ask if they... <laughs> your idea. The whistle. Fuck it. Demand it. Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> right. We have a plan of action. We know what's going to happen in the next few days. Venora, I need you to start stocking up on as much medical, sol medical supplies as you can. And we're all going to have About to pitch that. in for that. How much money do you need? Yeah, how much um, money do you need? Uh, <laughs> I was going to well, I was gonna check, check with uh, Oshan's proprietor because he owns other apothecaries and alchemist shops across Claudia Maybe and have a shipment brought in. So I thought... Could you give me a quote around 80? <clears throat> yeah, they were talking about 80 silver, almost near gold, depending on how much specialty mm -hmm. items you want thrown in. And we can all put about 10 forward. Yeah. It right, basically, that's easy for me. basically, to the couch basically it would come down to Gently. at least a guaranteed <laughs> it's, it's, it's advanced it's healing fine. potion it's and uh, a poison, anti-poison. 70 more. 10 from me to you for healing oh, supplies. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ten from me, there you go. Sixty. Oshan, descended from Oshan. Fifty. I got eight from you right now. It would help. I appreciate it. Here's twenty from Marco. Oh. Oh, okay, so twenty many? needed left. Ten needed left. I got eight. Uh, and ten there. <laughs> All paid for. Okay. Keep it for now. Okay. <laughs> I will have to look at y'all's deals. Y'all did that way too fast. Later. That's right. 80 in total. It's like you just Reach want to choice. poke at him. Hmm? There is one no. thing I will All right. ask of you. <laughs> Fair enough. If Back you and help, I will. Do you want to exchange that for a gold? If you plan to divulge <laughs> this information to your uncle, I want I'm to hoping it doesn't come to any of Unmask for it. I want him to hear it from me. But I'll send it to uh, O'Shawn's proprietor. I'll have him put it in a letter sealed. That's dangerous. Very risky. You'll be able to call my bluff if I tell if I don't tell the truth. It's um... Perhaps I should tell everyone more about who my uncle Closing is. Closing words, Mullet? Before we do. Oh. Yes, you should. Lesrin, so My uncle, knows, so. he's, um... He commands the second most militarily powerful house in Ismith the Loss. He is a war hero. A war hero... Uh, whose reputation puts him beyond the reproach of even King Iandar at times. That's why he's still able to operate despite the rest of my family being under house arrest. And, um, the war he is a veteran of are uh, the Drow Wars. I don't know if his 
Disposition towards Drow has changed since then. <clears throat> but he was not very favorable to them in the past. He's a hero to the Elven people for a reason. We don't want to add anything into this that could... Well... Then I guess I'll have to ask you not to tell him. Cannot leave this room. You will get him killed. Oh. I have no intention. We're already to buried this deep topics. in secrets. We'll all die at this point. Everyone in here is the ones who have your back. We know where we're going. We know what comes next. It's going to be hard, but we will survive. A lot of us who are here know that this room is very empty. Let's not let it get any emptier. To no longer surviving, and to living instead. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. Yes. Tomorrow's yeah, another yeah. day. Cheers. Another day. Tomorrow's Go another day. Go about your evenings. We know what we're doing. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Time to do the usual. Let's get the scale of stitching, bolts of cloth, fibers, anything that I can have. <laughs> yeah, we, need to go to, we need to go to Veteran Shop and go per do our purchases too. We need to. <sighs> especially you did very well. Mm. Especially within the next five days. Mm. I have a good mm. She gives you a knowing look. She doesn't say anything. But you know that that look is saying, if you need me, call me. And that's all there is. We are going to have to talk about your uncle at some point in the future. <clears throat> I already brought it up regarding both yourself and the young lady over there. An ambassador no, from my people will be arriving and I have to have my country. <sighs> Good job. We need this to happen I guarantee you. <sighs> if my family can get their diplomats in, I'll be more than happy to... You did great. Try and assist you in now you know what we can use that theater for. Positive relations. Although I almost started biting heads off. I, I needed to step away. I know. <clears throat> King I and I, it's um. Be careful. Mm, it's best okay. to keep my name out of the <sighs> At this, this point, I'm playing with death. We'll talk more about it's, it later. it's kind of fun. Don't know how I'm doing so well with it. Shriek, what do you make of it? Mm. Do you know where that port is? Mm. What? <sighs> Oh my no, God, sir, no. The port with the ship incoming. I do, yes. The one that's out of the way. I need to know where that is if I'm to plan, if I only have two days mm. to plan for it. You want to ride out there? Uh. Sure. Want to come? Whatever's clever. But does he go upstairs? Have... Need to meet up with him. Uh, yes, I believe so. I think so. Especially if the sun's gone down. Uh. Be careful. Does he? Are you We've... Up here? We made up. We Sorry, made up plenty of oil, friends. so we might be able to divert some of it from the ship to the to the fields. I want hey, uh, Sarah. something from you. Um, Go ahead. I want a key to your house. More permanently than borrowing. Right, I'm going to be taking um, Daz to the Take it. The next the fucking day. time you and Cassidy so both end up at the keep, I'm gonna go to your house and make sure Cat's okay. So somebody knows in case we end up getting killed. Do so, please. Horrible. <laughs> Would you like me to tail behind? Make sure you're okay. I'll watch over her, don't worry. No, I would I'm not, sure like, will not be sure fine. anything, but... Yeah, no, no. I plan to. I'm sure we will be Good fine, lad. but it's like if we don't show up, I guess... Where's Marcus? You know what happened, you know? I'll stay up and watch oh. the gate. Take you one outside. All right. Yeah, thank you. All right. Maybe Shariq will stay with me. Who knows? <laughs> if I can convince him. Though he did have to spin a lie to the guards about us being intimate on the rooftop at night, so, um... <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Aw, disappointing. I was lied to. Alright. Now Tonight's gonna suck. Evening, leather worker. 
You'll get through it. If everyone's at the tavern. <laughs> Time to go walk around and wait for one of her men to come and fucking stare at me from afar like a creep and then be mean to me. Brave face. <laughs> Hating. I feel like I missed a lot. Though. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I guess we'll get killed in at some point. We have a plan moving forward. Excuse me, I step inside for one second. Actually, I have a question for you, Sharik. Sure. You can go inside to do it. Uh, yep. <laughs> What's your question? This is, this is something I plan to ask your father, too, but... There's a woman in this town that goes by the name of Muller. She's someone from my past. She's been going around, putting people in debt, making them pay back extraordinary amounts. And when they can't, locking them in irons and selling them off into slaves. Mm -hmm. She needs to be dealt with at some point. I'm still gathering information, but... I might have a way of sticking a knife in her and starting to bleed her. Eventually, I'll need to take her. I need to get information out of her. Well, you're family, and we help family, so let us know what we need to do to help. As long as it doesn't cause everything else to come crashing down, of course. <sighs> this is more <clears throat> of a personal matter than everything we just discussed, so... I just know sooner or later she might start coming for our own businesses. Yeah. Right now it's small people, startups, all that kind of stuff. I'll keep my eyes and ears open, see if I can track her a little bit. She is a snake, and she does walk around with three very, very good mercenaries. Interesting. She's human. It'd be easy to spot them. Bare skin, wears black and green clothes. I'll keep my eyes open. I did tail her last night. Meh. Followed her all the way to the lighthouse. She met with Silvervane, a dwarf that put the company in debt. Mm -hmm. She wants to partner with him for something, something big. I hope to meet with him myself and try to stop it. I'll keep my eyes open. I thank you. Of course. When it comes to it, I may have to call upon you to help me deal with her. It's what I'm good at. The best. I really hope that would fix it, but nope. Even Twitch stuff on my internet, I'll be right back, chat.
Oh, it's definitely Twitch. Okay. I never know. I never fucking know. More often than not, it's my fucking internet. <laughs> Just right now, I just need more medical. Hey, hey, That's you want to take that ride? On. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's considering good. that he's not here, I'm gonna have to just stick with that and then just hang out with Basil. I've got this. Whoa. <laughs> this is the. I haven't named uh, my horse here. Did you name yours? Oh, I was supposed to. I guess we got kind You're of. Supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Today was my well, last writing lesson, so... Yeah. <sighs> I'm good to go. This is like the third fucking time I've saddled up this horse today. Chestnut. What do you call it? Chestnut? <laughs> no, no, I, I didn't call this one Chestnut. This is a Chestnut. Yeah, but you could call it Chestnut. <clears throat> nah, that's... that's simple, right? What about, uh, Peanut? Yeah, peanut the horse. No, it's gotta be something witty and clever. Like Sunbeam was pretty romantic. Mm. Oh, I miss Sunbeam. What about Twilight Sparkle? Oh, that's that's for your horse. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's pick up the haste a little. Yeah, well, before it gets too dark. Yeah. Hmm, Sunbeam. Uh. What about, uh, hmm, you could call it, like, Rose or something? Well, if my, if my hammer is called Thorn, and I'm a Rose, hmm. what would my mount be? Garden bed. <laughs> what? Garden bed the horse. Uh, Jesus. <clears throat> um, I think. What about Rosebud? But I have to say it like that every time. Rosebud. Is it a male or a female? Rosebud. You know? I think it's a female. Hmm. What about Flower Petal? <laughs> it's a, I'll, I'll think. <laughs> Spruce? <laughs> Spruce. Mm. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure there's something pretty. But how's your uh, how's your day? It's been busy, you know. Yeah, didn't get to see you much. Yeah. I got my ass handed to me on my last like training day. I raced okay. Tazim from the border all the way back into town and won barely. <laughs> That's good. And then I was in that fucking meeting for uh, felt like oh, oh. a millennia. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I feel that. Uh, people just talk and talk and talk. They don't listen to each other. If one more person interrupted me, I was going to, I was going to take body parts off. I, that's what I was, that's what I was seeing, like, people would just interrupt you, because they thought, they had to just get whatever was on their mind out. Exactly. No, they do that they all the time. believe you'll listen to you. But, do, do you feel like the people around you, especially that group, do you feel like they talk at you? Yeah. You? Sometimes. If I can get on one-on-one -on -one conversations really with them, bad. it's usually fine. Um, I believe it's this next one. That's to Belerno. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Wow, this is pretty far. Yeah, it is. Oh. Alright, so it's in two days? Oh, God. When are we. When are we hitting that ship? Day or night? Hmm, I would assume night. 
They usually show up at night. Night? They mostly come at night. Hmm. Mostly. My time in the day beforehand. Okay. Well, this is the cross keys. Correct, and there's a left turn up here. This was the banana. We'll find out. Um, no, because it's to the Temple of Osara, so. Oh. If anyone asks, we're making a pilgrimage. <laughs> All right, of course. You'll have to hold your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> and celibacy. You gotta sell that. Why, why are you vowing on celery? No, celibacy. Cel celibacy? No. No. No, Kyler, you fuck. What does, <laughs> what does celibacy mean? It's the act of uh, giving up pleasures of the flesh. Like fucking? Yeah. It's a bit more broad than that, but yeah. That sounds stupid. Why would you ever give that up? It's to make one's body uh, keep it pure, you know? I must be the most yeah, unpure actually. fucking. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, don't tell me that. Uh, don't worry. It's I've I've calmed down now in my old age. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do do Drow go in a rut? Do you just you <laughs> have to. Yeah. Like I think they go wherever they want. Let me guess. So you like dogs? Do you have the knot? Uh, <laughs> uh, Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? I don't want, want to know. No, <laughs> I don't want to know the answers. <laughs> to. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're like brothers. I, 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 we're fine. Yeah. I'm more of a grower. Yeah. <laughs> As you both continue talking, turn it right here. Oh wow. Yeah, go ahead and dismount. That's expensive. Dismount. <laughs> are the temples to Sota like this, or are they more uh, quiet? <clears throat> um. You know, it's a different architecture. It's a different, uh, different feel. It's a lot brighter at a uh, South Tower, that's for sure. Hmm. All right, we have to be a little I've sneaky. I've seen them a couple times, but okay. Um, all right. Don't worry, they shouldn't see us. There shouldn't even be anyone here, really. They're in their off season, so to speak. Right. Okay, in my head I have three teams to hit this ship. I'm wondering if I even <clears throat> need three. Okay. Uh, up here is probably good. Careful you don't slip. Okay. That'd be really funny. <clears throat> now, is there anyone here? I doubt it. Maybe a couple guards, but... Okay, are we able to go down there? I wouldn't risk it. <clears throat> Two of you scramble up um. on top of the rocks and are able to get an okay view of the surrounding area and the abandoned portside dock. It doesn't immediately look like anyone is here, although judging by some of the barrels and crates and other assorted things around in the middle of the street and lining the area... It seems like people do come here, although you don't see any immediately. Other than that, the rock side is sheer. You figure if you creep too far over the edge, you could slide down into town. And if that happens, or you land on a roof the wrong way, you could definitely rile up anybody who might be inside any of the buildings. 
There's the boardwalk bit that walks that goes along there, and you see where that crane is. That tends to be where the ship docks itself. Careful. <clears throat> okay. There's a way down to the beach on the right hand side, and there's a road going okay, there's a beach. up around the back right. here. It comes out, out, you'll see it on the way back. That's the secret way that they get their wagons out. <clears throat> Seems to be the only way down into the cove. Okay. Zim told me that somehow I am to plan us taking this ship without killing any of them. That's going to be a tall order, Marcus. But that's because of me, and that's because I'm difficult. I know, but I think we're good enough that no one has to die. Because killing people is easy, but living with all of this is hard, and trying to be good is hard. Well, and I'd like to try. Right. There's your map. <laughs> Got a good idea oh, of it now? Fuck. Um... Well, here's my... Here's my thought. I have, what, 14 people that we have for this? About? <clears throat> sure, depending um, if we can get these supporters or not. Right. Well, there's pretty much everyone in that room. That we trusted. It's about 14 people. Right. If it's Morden and Thorin, maybe 16. But I had three teams in mind. Those who stay on the shore. Those who are to sneak onto the ship. Right. And those who are in a dinghy to run intercept. Because I think we have access to small boats. And I believe a ship that size would also have small boats. Now just in case anyone tries to leave on such boats, we have an intercept team. That is my thought so far. It's you, Tordy, and the other drow. The three drow, basically. Uh, Sarah. Yep. Do you three are hooded? Should be able to blend in. We could sneak onto the Make boat. your way onto the ship, do your thing. Right, and use the smokers to incite a panic of, of sorts, but also, since you, I guess, three would be the sneaky ones, especially you, any high-priority targets, while there's a panic, you'd be able to, while that's happening, I don't know, do your thing. Right. I thought we weren't killing people. Not killing! <laughs> Non-lethal, use the pommel, right? <laughs> Are you able to... <laughs> Finesse something like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it though. <laughs> I know you don't like. <laughs> you shouldn't like killing. <laughs> Honestly, you want to profess Taller. something to me? Do you enjoy killing? Taller at the mention of this, as you hear Marcus mention these things, you can't help but feel a little twinge in the back of your head. It's so much easier just to jam the knife in and move on having to be careful with the pommel or use something like a blackjack to knock somebody out well you've got to be <sighs> careful with things like that it's so much easier just to become the storm and just sweep everything away this is more like a drizzle <sighs> yeah I could, I could uh, Actually, punch some people or something or yes now that I look at the skies, I think a storm is coming. Definitely feels like it. Okay, yeah. so we sneak aboard, get people to bail by using the smoker, and we uh, yeah. snuggle these opportune targets. So if it's 40 fully armed men... Well, here's the thing. Like, to Z what's up? Tazim when... told me they just needed a way an escape. That's all they need to funnel out. As long as we give them an escape. When we came in here and looked at it the first time, the, the boat itself had about 40 people on it, right? 40 people. We okay. overheard the people in charge talking about, we need to bring on more fighting men. Which implies to me... More fighting men. The following. The people that are on there, not really fighters. Good. The people that are coming, okay, they're not probably won't be 40 people, right? 
So actual combatants, combatants right, might be down sure. a little less. <clears throat> so they just have workers. They just have I mean, ship workers. Yeah, ship workers, pirates, and mm. you know. But if you see here, that road that runs down the back, that's the only way out of this kind of cove. The rest is all cliff faces. It's the only... So that has to be their escape. Yeah. If they want to leave this mm. entire Marcus. area. <clears throat> Mark is taking a look at what Kyler gestures to. You can see he's exactly right. There is a ramp that leads up along the side of town. The only way that is cut into the side of the cliff face. Anybody trying to make it out otherwise will either face the surf mm. along the beach and then get lashed against the cliffside, or they would have a sheer cliff face to try to climb up and back into the jungle. Okay, so that's the only way back. Uh, we can work with that. We shouldn't stick around for much longer. Drow like to prowl around these parts. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'll have to come back. But... Okay. It's much better than just dropping giant boulders onto them. As you both walk away from the cliff, Somewhere off in the distance in the jungle, you hear the rustling and cry of some tropical bird leaving its perch. Huh. Hmm. It's beautiful out here. It's nice. I wish this whole province wasn't so, uh, yeah. you know... Fucky-wucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love that. Well, thanks for showing me. Yeah. You want to do a quick prayer to Asara? Uh, <laughs> at the temple? I'm not really a praying man. Just just in case? Just in case? Uh, well, you want to cover your bases? Isn't that uh, I mean, we're gonna need sacrilege or whatever? Isn't that illegal? I need three things to make this happen. Uh, that I want to keep these people alive. <clears throat> See, I need a, I need a prayer book. I needed a bed to lay down in, and then pray. Because there's not a chance in hell I'm gonna get forty people not killed by this lovely group of people. If you pull lovely, this off, you you. Lovely. Hey, look, I'm willing to give it a shot. All right, but if it goes south, I'm 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 eating people. I hope you know that. No, just don't eat them. Just <laughs> eat them. Come on. And now I hear we might have to go back down deep below. I oh don't even want to fucking think about that, Marcus. I'll be honest with you. The idea of that makes me so irrationally angry that I just... And we'll have to go. You and I always have to go. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well, I won't complain about it. I'll just tough it up. That's usually how I do it. Tell me where to point my sword to Zim and I'll go. <laughs> I mean, I have even less of a say. You have a bit of a say. I mean, I go before you. If you're lucky. <laughs> if I'm lucky. I told you I'd die for you. Yeah, that's still something I'm getting I used to. <clears throat> oh, that's all right. You know, eventually I'm going to be having to command hundreds of people all doing the same at the mention of this Kyler you can't help but feel remember an army of bodies a river of blood the imperial city nothing but ruins Uh, 
Oh no, isn't that just gorgeous? Crossing over the bridge, you can see far and wide over the land of Nautis, a sunset is just beginning to dip beyond the horizon of the city, the sea, and everything else that makes up the blessed land of Isara. What about sunrise? You could call the horse sunrise. Yeah. <laughs> I guess there is some orange coloration. Yeah, or sunset. Yeah. Or about sunny. Sunny. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Huh. I'll give it a thumb. Good old Gradient Tequila Sunrise. <laughs> You could call it tequila. I'm not a drinker. Water then? Or maybe orange juice? Tea bag? <laughs> call the horse tea bag? <laughs> oh, herb water. Very good. Herb water. That's what, that's what tea is. Yes. Ooh. Hey, thanks for, um... Thanks for coming out here with me. Yeah, my pleasure. I just... I can't shake the feeling that... I don't know. I'm hoping everything goes well, but there's just a feeling in my gut that it could go horribly wrong. Something something, no plan survives contact with something something. Exactly. Yeah, I know the feeling, buddy. Don't worry. Mm. Ten copper if you run it down. Oh, this mm. doesn't look good. What happened? Um, hey, well, Matt. Hey, we're off. Stay safe. Were the road's safe up there. Yeah, I killed like 20 orcs, so you guys should be fine. No, you didn't. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. What, did you kill them with your BO? What the fuck? Hey, hey, check out this, check out this strumpet. Check out this hot thing. Strumpet. <laughs> hey, hot stuff. Looking for a ride? <laughs> then I... <laughs> oh my God. I haven't been in a good mood all day. I will stab you. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> Jack gives you a hard glare. Seems like he's still upset about something else that might have happened. away and feeling like you've thoroughly gotten the hang of it after today and all the training seems like second nature the rest is just experience with time good ride yeah that's a good ride I gotta go handle something so I'll uh, catch up with you later okay uh, you're not doing... don't do anything I wouldn't do, okay? Ugh. But that just... that's not fun. <laughs> See you, Marcus. <laughs> not fun.
Sevatar. Alright, just sounds good.
I guess uh, Lily isn't around today either. Well, he was around. <clears throat> Probably busy doing something else. That's all good. I was gonna have a uh, a swordsmanship lesson, but I don't think Sebatha would uh, interrupt this moment. We can sit and enjoy them enjoying the sunset. <laughs> Uh, 
I haven't actually eaten today. Holy shit. Hmm. These would likely does not know. <clears throat> I think she turned around and looked at me. It doesn't really matter. Think about the meeting. I mean, we got stuff done. We have a plan of attack now, which is good. But it, I, I, I swear, to, I was, I was close to. I, people kept cutting each other off, and I was like, I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna do it. But we have a plan going forward, at least. It's so funny. They start a, a set conversation like, alright, what are we going to do about problem A? And people are talking about it and someone's like, yeah, but like, look, problem B and stuff. And then Kyla's like, okay, but can we talk more about problem A? And everyone's like, no, let's go talk about problem B now without solving problem A. And I'm like, you fucker. You fucker. There's all in shroom. I haven't spent time together in three days. That's fine. <clears throat> Let them enjoy the moment. <clears throat> That was a good meeting. We definitely, um, achieved stuff, which is more than what we do on, on many other meetings. <clears throat> so. I was sitting there looking at Sarah. I'm like, are you going to tell these guys, like, everything? Are you going to, like, actually... You can't be, you can't be holding back secrets now. And she did. And Kyla was like, fuck yeah. Good shit. <clears throat> Proud of her. Need a night killer just for the purpose of shooting into the ceiling. Alright. <laughs> Get one of those fucking blunderbuss. Surprise, Ricky. Dear diary. Fuck me. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> He's gonna write it on a scrap piece of paper and then slip the paper into the book. I'm <laughs> getting water. <laughs> That's fine, we can wait. We'll wait for you, Ricky. There's <clears throat> a delay in my stream. Yeah, I figured. I noticed there was a bit of a delay. I guess Twitch is being <coughs> a bitch. Ricky just got bamboozled. Yeah, fucking surprise!
<clears throat> There's a bit of delay. Let's let's try it. Marco. And then you guys say Polo. And that's the delay we're working with. <laughs> Can't believe I got away to my bitch ass scribe Ricky. Ricky! Get in the car! We gotta go! If I see your ass in chat, I'm gonna start narrating. <clears throat> I think we're about to be interrupted anyway. <clears throat> Today was a strange day. I finished my horse riding lessons. So that was good. I fell off more times than I would have liked. But... Arn says it is part of it. Apparently, I am quite good at horse riding. In fact, I rode three separate times today. We had another quote unquote meeting today <clears throat> with everyone involved. It went about as well as they usually do. But at least this time we have a plan of action. I saw a sparkle in Arn's eye today. Couldn't quite put my finger on it. Sadness or happiness. Somewhere in between, maybe. <clears throat> Unless you bring it to someone else. Miss Basil. Mr. Soma. Hello, what do you have there? Eh, just taking some notes. Getting my thoughts out onto a page. Notes? Hmm. How are the two of you? I saw you at the corner of my eye for a moment. I'm sorry to make <laughs> you wait if you were wishing to speak with me. No, it's okay. I was going to check in with you and uh, the redhead and uh, do some swordsmanship lessons, ah. but I did not wish to interrupt that beautiful scene. <laughs> he was telling me some stories and I told him one too. Don't let me interrupt you too. If you have a pl fun night planned ahead, I can wait until tomorrow. Well, I wouldn't mind learning a little bit more. I mean, I did just finish a little bit of my own training with me. See if I can now whew, feel the max. Oh, yes. look at you go. <laughs> Perhaps uh, tomorrow well, morning. This is up to you, Soma. I can find you. Do another lesson. I like that plan. Tomorrow morning it is. Very good. You do have a great night. You, you as well. Give my regards to uh, Miss Redhead. I will. She says thank you, by the way. We actually have the monies now. We're just waiting for the owner to come back so I can get her, her papers. Let me know if I can help out in any way. I will. I'm very excited. I'm hoping I can get it. I was hoping to do it today, but... 
finding out that the papers that are within the scribery has his signature and not my signature. Well, I need him to sign off of it. Interesting. Uh, if you ever need uh, some paperwork to uh, go missing or be switched, <laughs> you know who to talk to. <laughs> I would like to do it more properly. So then that way old Thomas doesn't get his hands on Miss Lily with my back is turned. Mm. Well, things to worry about tomorrow. For now, enjoy yourselves. Mm-hmm. And we shall. Thank you. Of course. I might need to head right on back before Lily does <clears throat> get any more worried. <laughs> Lily will be fine. She's not going to be worried. He's within the bathhouse. She is okay. I don't think so much for seven. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Where was I? This is sadness. <clears throat> Let's see. Where are we? Let's see. It's all quite bittersweet. I can tell he is proud of everything I am trying to do. But sad that our time is coming to a close. In more ways than one, maybe. <clears throat> I can't help but feel dark clouds on the horizon for all of us. I just hope we can weather the storm. Sunset is beautiful. Kyla. Let not be my horse. Yeah. He's off to blow off some steam. Find home and someone. Oh, is this his dad? Maybe I don't know. <clears throat> Old Jackie boy, Jesus Christ, Jackie boy. Yeah, we've unlocked Maelstrom. We've done the, the mount tutorial, so now we know how to ride a horse. <laughs> oh, my legs are hurting. <clears throat> I 
let's uh, switch on back out. Oh, uh, what's his name is here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, he said, Wayne Ride right Emporium, I'll be with you in a moment. Well, we don't well. 12, 12 silvers? Or what was the silvers? That is roughly the size of a dog 12 silvers. Like, How much? Okay. 12. The size of a For the four tanuki larger. balls. It's very cool. to rob a tanuki's balls is to gain mythical Here we are. magical. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, this <laughs> one. <laughs> Got it straight <laughs> from, uh, let's see. The northern jungles. <laughs> All right. What? Puts it in her basket. I gotta go that will do me, Mr. Yeah, Wainwright. We'll back. Absolutely, Miss Venora. I hope those bowls treat you well. Yeah, I just pity the person who drinks it. But oh, well. oh, don't pity them. You'll be saving their life. Definitely. There you go. Oh. All right. Thank you. A very noticeable Absolutely. squishing noise is made as Faye packs up the sack of rare viscera. <sighs> welcome one, welcome all, Wainwright Emporium. How can I help you? So, what the fuck is that? I guess we need to see if we can find Miss Torchy. What the fuck is that? What do you mean? What the fuck is that? It's like a, it's a statue. Oh, it's but, like a sphinx, you know? Okay. The holder of knowledge. Okay, we'll go check and see if yeah. You're telling me a sphinx yeah, is a holder a sphinx. of knowledge? No, I've heard a sphinx, mister, a sphinx. Yeah. What do you have today? Anything, uh... Wowie. I got stuff from all over, <laughs> Ozera. Oh, you want to be wowed? Ah. Okay, you want to be wowed. Alright, I see here. <clears throat> Man wants to be wowed. What's your name, stranger? I'm Aaron Wainwright. You can call me Sevatar. Sevatar, you can see as Aaron Wainwright rummages around, oh. finding a few things and gathering them together. He. <laughs> Screws all the Antori items off the table and then lays out several different things. The first item that is uncovered is a large bone. Based on your experience with anatomy, this apparently seems to be some kind of femur, either of a very large human or perhaps an orc. You can see that it's <coughs> decorative. It's been engraved and inscribed up and down. It looks like some kind of strange script filigree in a language you've never seen before. It might not even be a language, just some kind of ritual markings, but it is a kind of tribalistic etching or in this femur. Another item that Aaron Wainwright produces is a medallion of pure silver. You're not sure if you recognize what this symbol is or what it means, but it is a kind of medallion that would be worn on a necklace, no bigger than the palm of your hand. Judging by your experience, however, with weaponsmithing and metallurgy, you can tell that this is almost assuredly an item of pure silver. So at the very least, it's worth that, some kind of jewelry. Lastly, the final item that Aaron unfolds on the table, uh, unfolding a cloth, is something very familiar. A brass pen with a highly familiar skull. <clears throat> a skull that you were very familiar with back from Adwick. Cast in brass, worn by refugees turned vigilantes, and all they wanted was to try to survive in the middle of a war in the city that had forgotten them. How much for the uh, funny little skull pin? Oh, that one there. I can do just for you. First time buyer, put you at a discount, five silvers. 
Five silvers. It's pure brass, I think. It's brass. Yeah. How much for the medallion? Let's see. It's silver here. Hmm. I think because of uh, because of all that's here, I'd I'd part with it for ten. So ten silver for the full silver medallion, and how much you said for the brass? Ah, five here. Yeah. Would you accept? Not as expensive a material. Looks cool. Would you accept yeah. two? Ah, you can't kind of meet me in the middle here. Yeah. Four. It's not really the middle, is it? How about three? It's working. Working. Talk to me here. Three fifty. I can take that. I would take three fifty. That that you can do. Three fifty, absolutely. To the Mr. Sevater. Enjoy. Don't spend it all at once. <laughs> and don't uh, flash that all around at once, yeah? Anything else I can do you for? Equipment, uh, sometimes medical, uh, anything. Really? What sort of equipment? Put your do you mind have? to it. Anything fun? Um, let's see here. <clears throat> what are you looking for in terms of equipment? Do you have anything uh... that goes <laughs> or or yeah. yeah yeah strange i know <clears throat> the sound that's produced or a <laughs> ah i see well try this on for size oh mind the tree let me get that once shot. again Aaron Wainwright rummages around and <clears throat> lays out a bevy of things these a little different than before seemingly a little more humble you can see one two pouches or two uh yes two pouches of powder although Kyler looking at the two pouches they are decidedly different one being uh pure white and just by even so much as glancing at it, you can almost feel the vapors coming off of it or even just a tiny bit of the powder. It stings immediately, just even getting close to it. Wearing your mask, of course, you're not able to breathe any in, thankfully. The other one you are vaguely aware of, actually, with your experience in weaponsmithing and blacksmithing. The other is a dark red, crimson metallic, looks very much like rust. You vaguely know of this, having heard of it. It's called fusing powder. You know that it is sometimes used to slag metal bits together in the field where the heat of a forge cannot be brought to bear. While it cannot cut a hole into metal, it can spot weld, for lack of a better term, or slag two pieces of metal together if you pour it into a crevice and light it on fire, typically called fusing powder. Lastly, there are two coconuts with very obvious fiber fuses sticking out of them. There's the stuff that goes tss <coughs> or you have yeah. that in a special crate, I guess. What's this uh, white powder here? It smells god awful. That one there, uh, it's a uh, caustic powder, you know. How much for the caustic powder? As the name implies, I could part with it for four silvers. Four silvers. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. I'm going to check a few other places. If you if, I... if you throw that into someone's uh, face, they're they're gonna get fucked up. All right, it's caustic for a fucking reason. <clears throat> I'm going to check a few places, but if I uh, can't find it, I might come back tomorrow. Hmm? Hey, right, sure. Stuff usually goes quick. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your business. I won't take up any more of your time. Absolutely, Mister Sabato. Be seeing you. <laughs> Next in line, Wayne Wright Emporium. <laughs> ah, Mr. Soma. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you as well, Rainwright. Absolutely. So, um... 
Not really too much medical related, however, I am. He's over here saying that he already uh, needs to go to bed for me. Well, maybe. I feel uh, very hurt. Is, is he leaving you alone? Is he leaving? Mm -hmm. uh, no, oh, you poor He's going to be saying goodnight and then going to bed. Uh, I know. So tragic. <laughs> Alright, uh, what do you have? <laughs> Let me get this Your plans right for the here. rest of the night then? Alright. I have fun. So three advanced healing uh, vials here. Mm. Okay. Three. Yeah. Perhaps a short lesson One then, if you can get your uh, companion. And I will see what I can do. Lenny has been doing very well. And you know that sawtooth captain. Very much likes and her a lot. <laughs> I will be the judge How of her. Keep my app though. Hmm. I got two bottles of moonshine. Yes, I've heard good and bad things about her. <clears throat> bad thing is she drinks too much and is very oh, casual yes. with a lot of people. All right, let's yeah. check over the prices then. Good uh, thing she pays really copper, good monies know. when it comes to bathhouse girls. It's 50 copper mm. each. I could do two silvers for the four. Well, it's all a bit of give and take, I suppose. Moonshine, the two of them. I suppose so. Two silver each, so it's four silvers. <laughs> four silvers for that. I completely forgot how much <laughs> it was for the advanced. I Busy day. Mm, <laughs> I don't. Please correct me. Yeah, wrong. mostly my morning. Rest of the day, though, has been good. Okay, so good. I'm glad to hear it. Mm. I got to make Gurbam look at me with such a sour face. Five that was very fun. Okay, How did you manage that, Miss right. Basil? It was a... So um, Hopper told again. someone about his small hands and how a piece of bread can make Stand? anybody look yeah, big. Uh, and Stand. that person goes to me and asks Stand. me if that's real. That's a tier two, because it's not a tier one. Tier one's a weak. He heard that and he's been very <laughs> angry about it all. <clears throat> it's hilarious, actually. Did you know that the person at the, the blacksmith, they, all they have to do is clap and he dances? It's only him. Strange. Isn't it? Kind of tempted to try, honestly. Uh, very strange indeed. <laughs> I heard it's only with him, though. So, I don't uh, know. Say special bond, then. That's fucking creepy. Mm, I would say so. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of disgusting now that you think about it. Actually, let me check up on something. It's kind of like a puppy. You give him food, a place to sleep, the mother. And he just listens to you, follows you around. What? You are the forge puppy! <laughs> Gee, thanks, with all the shit I do... But, at least I'm not calling you a good boy. Then I'd make it worse. So creepy. See? Not yeah, so people Some people like to be called see? good boy. You see how much worse it would be if I did that? Are you one of them? Wouldn't you like to know? I don't know, will you be a good boy and tell me? Maybe you'll find that one day. Huh? All in good time, Miss Basil. I can't reveal all of my secrets to you. Otherwise, what else is there? <laughs> that is true. And what are we without some of our secrets? Of course. What the fuck is that thing doing? That's what I have right so no now. to the bandages and no to the advance. I don't know. It's hiding in the barrel. I already have a good stock and I've opened the barrel now. So it'd be ten right now the uh, Get in the fuck out of my saying. barrel. Mm -hmm. No, just you close it, right? And then you pick it up. This is what Dredge does. He picks it up and he shakes it. And he says, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <coughs> as many slaves as I have, I can't sell a Havik in a barrel. Especially within the Cassetto stuff. Oh, you'd be surprised. Right, two of the surgical gauzes whenever I get that. It's for the rest. Mm. You get the rocks ready. What? Oh, you'd be surprised. It's like a, it's it's a, like a, a game. Oh, How bits in the barrel? Yeah. I, know how, I know how quick they work, especially well, with not, you. I forgot uh, if it's a... Uh, what's it called? Can I return it for a different prize? 
I feel so terrible making fun of him while he's right there, but he's not he's not fighting back. He's, uh, look at that. Does that not look like Peter? Just looking ang it looks it looks like Peter the dog with angry eyebrows on. I can see that. He has I am not intimidated. Puts down ten silver. Alright. Two bottles of moonshine. He's having a breakdown. Packages of stale stitching. Look what you've done. Yeah. <coughs> I'm look, you know where everyone is right now. I'm looking for a few people. Uh, no, I actually don't know where a lot of people were. I was over at the beach with Soma for a little bit. I know where Cordy and um, Bezrin are, but I don't know where they are, but I know what they're doing. Uh, he has a special book, so I wouldn't bother them. Oh, did they come as a I was looking for Marco and Shuri. That's what I'm looking for. I heard about that. It's an elven common sutra. <laughs> you heard about it? Ooh. How many people know about it? I only told two people. I told he goes, oh, I have a... I didn't know it was his birthday today, so I gave him a birthday gift on his birthday. Oh. It also happens to be the day that, <laughs> listen, Tori made it very apparent on what they're doing, and they just basically leaned down and said that straight to my face, and I just... <laughs> well, I gave him extra steps, and I told him which chapter she liked, so... <sighs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. There we are. Well, you can make it fun for the bottom of them. Yeah, go, go do what you need to do. I only have one bar left and then I'm done. What these strange creatures? Isn't they? Very strange. <laughs> that is a very strange booth. <coughs> I see him all the time and he always has new things. Yeah, that looks real nice. Yeah. Have you seen the fucking statue? Yeah, of course, you paid for it. Like a woman Which one? with a cat. The spooky one with... Oh, oh Sphinx. A sphinx. That's what they're called. No, the Sphinx. Sphinx. You want to what, what? Soma. This man over here is asking you. This one is an even larger oh, uh, shit. Yes? Sorry about that. It's where other people get more time with their boyfriend than you do. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the old a few crowd. days ago. And isn't it true? Okay, well, you know, he was having a talk stuff, in there. However, I'm actually in, 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 right over now, there talking with people for almost like two hours. God, could you and then he only has an hour for me. I'll write it down yeah. again. It's rude, honestly. All right. Oh. So far, it's his loss. Go, um, so far from as right is. now, I, <laughs> I really just is. saw you, I do apologize. I just made a couple of things <laughs> from over there, <laughs> so now I'm having to come right on back and organize. Um, if something comes up, then I'll probably see you by tomorrow, um, if I'm able to have It's fine though, a lot of people tend to have more time with me. Later on, alright? Yeah. It's fair. Tit for tat. I guess so. I understand. I understand. Well, Thank you. Oh, you, you did. Oh, thank All you. right. Yeah. Of course. Someone um, come it on. Just like it's like brand new. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm a a right here. Here. Yeah, okay. You said thank you dropped off twenty. Right? Even while we were at the beach, he was more, making yes. bandages. So that would He's very diligent. He always works. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. yes, 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 you are well, he does. <clears throat> I got all five done. Thank you. You said it. Come out, Lord. I'm like, You have no idea how tempted I am to get all, you know, cuddly with you while he's right, right there, just to see how jealous he'd get. Didn't you think he was into that? You have no idea how tempted I've been. I did because he didn't tell me otherwise. Okay. He's a man dedicated to. His you know, the one time he got really macho though. He took off his shirt and got all macho and everything. It's funny. Let's go over there and see if we can... I thought we'd like I'm to see it. i Shriek to get so he gets, like, hmm? a thing on the... the oh, nothing. So don't have to jump the... <laughs> I have to... God damn it. Oh, my goodness. Just get a crate. <laughs> Are you okay? Come on. <laughs> yes, I'm just writing everything down, especially when it comes down to... <laughs> Stock. Mm. So this is fun. Battle. You feel safe. 
It's worse. I do. Very safe in your arms. Very good. But, but, I've been dead. God damn it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so, can I have maps <laughs> on the wall if you need? No, take your time, Soma. Uh, uh, <clears throat> what? Take your time. Take your you time. have so much the stuff to write yeah, down, don't do you? Yeah, do your work. Do your work. Basil, you're but cruel. I've, <laughs> but I, I've, I've already worked it. Mm. There I go again. My mind's going off again. It's going off on a fucking tangent. I do not know what to feel right now. I do not know how to feel. What What should I Isn't feel? Isn't this fun? I don't know, how do you feel? Defend your right, Soma. Hmm? Defend your right. Come here. How do you feel? Come here. Come here. Well, you know what? I'm you stand right you there. Do whatever I can. Alright, and you say, hey, you. Get the fuck away from my girl. Get the fuck away from it. You have a dagger. I do. <laughs> Tears, Soma. Now you also have a dagger. <laughs> Take the dagger, Soma. He has a sword and a dagger. And then you have no excuse, Soma. And a scalpel. What? And you know, he has these things called clowns. Ooh. Very, but very, the... you know, very good. You say, get the fuck away from my girl. Wait a minute, we're not going back to that story. We're not going I'm back not back to that saying story, anything no. about that story. No. Have you no. Done yet? Well, today we have quite the haul. Yep. I assume since the last time we've spoken, I may not have what you need. As See, even so even I'm Mr. Harry knows. Ah uh, yes. Even Mr. Harry knows. So, so I'm just kind of curious what other. So my Harry threatened me. Summer, you need to pay for a bathhouse girl, well, and it's it's well, no, so no, no, actually, actually, it's I'm very surprised. I actually, a pleasant surprise. Mm. What the? How, wait, how is it? How how is it? Wait a minute. How has it been a fucking? It's been, been two week? weeks. Oh, two weeks. Even how much for the axe? You? This is gonna sit right here all disappointed. <laughs> get the fuck away from my girl. This is your fault. No, no. But then I'm gonna try him. <laughs> get the. This is your fault. But you know what? You gotta fuck it up. Shit. Shit. I've got a shit. I've got a shit. Please, please. I'm gonna shit. No. <laughs> We are, I'm, I'm trying to really hard. I'm I'm trying to really hard. I know you're trying so hard. You're trying to help me so much. Look, Soma. I don't wanna. That's good to know. Oh, that makes good that. Mind. How much silver you said? Uh. Eight. Would you like to go to the bathhouse? Sure. <laughs> so, uh, as you, you, know, you, as you whisper this, have... uh, to Basil. <laughs> After so much talk of shitting, you feel something in the pit of your stomach. Something Don't actually. <laughs> something terrible. And something that you have invoked into this world, not me. No, no, no. So I want you to know, Soma, you think to yourself. Silver, in a lot. Perhaps you have committed an act of hubris this day. Um, Perhaps you uh -uh. have. Six you silver? have tempted fate. You have flown too close to the sun, and for that you will be punished Seven because fish. right now you uncontrollably need to shoot. Seven. Fucking. Deal. I never... <laughs> what? What? I did not expect this reaction at all. You lose control <laughs> I didn't either. I was doing business with you. I need to go to Soma. 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 Are you okay? I need to go to Soma. For what? Soma was a bit too hard on him? His his stride a little shortened, as if he's trying to hold something in. Uh, oh. I think you should. Uh, I see. I and think with you should that, check in with him. I can't. Signaling the ship's coming.